Hello and welcome to day three of the 30 pose journey. Thank you again for meeting me back here in the Zen Den. Today's posture is Chaturanga Dandasana. I mentioned in the email today, if you're following along through the series, that this is the most badass pose in the practice. And I truly believe that. It really does require so much strength and capability and dedication and courage for you to do it correctly. So my goal is for you to learn how to do it and learn how to do it well. Not only for all those reasons I just listed, but also to prevent injury in our practice. If you're not on your mat, please join me and let's get started learning Chaturanga Dandasana. All right, Yogi, so you're on your mat. I wanna point out a few things before we start making the shape, just so that we're all on the same page. The biggest thing I want you to take home from this sequence today is that when you're moving into the posture from plank pose, we always lower down on an exhale breath, number one. Number two, the elbows have to hug in to support the body. So gaze up here for a moment if you're not. But as you lower down into chaturanga, the elbows create a shelf-like action that support the body, okay? Commonly, we were taught in uh, PE, right, that when you do a push-up, the elbows splay out to the side. And while this is not a wrong push-up, it's not a yoga push-up. So in the yoga world, as we lower down into our low plank, low push-up, the elbows hug in, they magnetize towards one another, they create this shelf as the shoulders, elbows, and wrists make a 90 degree angle. Whew. So those are my, my top tips. Always lower on an exhale breath, really hug the elbows in to maintain that shelf-like action, and then remember to make a 90 degree shape between the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. Oftentimes too, we get really tired and fatigued, and the shoulders will drop down lower than the elbows, yeah, this is gonna happen. It's normal, it's expected. Really try to pull the heart through and keep the shoulders lifted in line with those elbows. Let's start to work up towards this posture. So starting with our hands stacked underneath our shoulders, wrists underneath shoulders, with the knees down but together, we're gonna build on what we learned yesterday in plank pose, okay? So immediately coming into that space with the fingertips, really spreading, pushing down between the knuckles, specifically that web between the thumb and the pointer finger. Lifting up through the arms, making a lot of space in the upper arms, neck and shoulder area, hugging the belly button up towards the spine. From here, lift the feet and just come up onto the tops of the knees. If this is hurting your knees, feel free to grab a blanket and place it underneath there. Now we're gonna lower down into chaturanga, okay? Big inhale breath. Exhale to let the shoulders gently or slightly past the wrists. Exhale to lower down halfway as you gaze forward. Elbows come by the sides. And inhale back up. Let's do it two more times. Exhale, lower down, gaze forward. Elbows hug in, belly to spine. Inhale back up. Last time, exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. And take it back to child's pose just for a moment. Send those hips back. <sighs> Inhale, come back. We're gonna do it three more times. We're building strength here. We're becoming aware of our body. I also like to really cross my ankles here. I don't know what that's about, but if you wanna do that with me, you can. <laughs> Big inhale breath, immediately start to build that shape. So fingertips, wrists, forearms, upper arms, roll outwards, make space in the upper back and the neck, belly button to spine, gaze forward, inhale breath. Exhale, lower down, elbows bend, hug into the body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift up. Last time, exhale, lower down. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, send the hips back, child's pose. Whew. Take a round of breath. Okay, here we go. We're going to practice the whole damn Chaturanga Dandasana. If you're still building strength and you're not ready for the whole thing, stay with what we were just down. Make that webbing with the hands. Start to come into your plank pose. Send the heels back. Make one long line of energy. Really focus on the fingertip, the pointer finger and the thumb here. Huge inhale breath. Let the shoulders pass the wrist, gaze forward, firm up the body, exhale, lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Push back up, plank pose. We're going to do it three times. I know it's hard. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down, shelf leg position. Inhale, lift it up. Last time, huge inhale. Exhale, lower down, halfway. You got this. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop the knees, child's pose. Inhale, come back up. So the biggest modification is just leaving the knees down for now. Focusing on hugging the elbows in, really squeeze them to your sides. They are a shelf for you. They are a human shelf. Broadening through the chest, keeping the shoulders nice and lifted, and then always making yourself into one long line of energy. The whole body's got to work here, okay? Nothing can slack off. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. I'll meet you back here tomorrow for day four of the 30 Pose Journey. Hey journey goers, Allie here with a huge favor to ask you. If you love practicing yoga alongside me and want more of it, then please subscribe to the channel. By supporting me, you inspire my journey, which then I hope inspires yours. As always, thank you for stepping on the mat with me, for being a part of this community, and for making the commitment to live your journey.